Take it outside. <laughs> I gotta tell you something, pal, you still got it. You got every move. Thought you were dead. Oh, so did I, Frenchie, believe me. Story for another time. Dude, these three bigs were in, we're out. What do you say? Are you serious? Yeah, really? Yeah. What is this? It's called a car, mate. No, it's a wheelchair with a roof, Frenchie. It's clean, it's quiet, and it doesn't smell like your ass on the inside. All right. Where are we off to first, then? Las Vegas. Is that okay with you? Follow me. Does the English shoe salesman know who he's talking to? We're not here to push your foot around, so you've already prepared the readies. Let's have it. Give the bag to Mr. French. What's your problem? She gave it up way too easy, French, okay? Christ. <laughs> I'm done with violence, brother. I'm done. And with violence, what's that supposed to mean? It means no more hurting my fellow man. Light him up! Come on! Go after it! <laughs> bang, bang! Good job with the uh, non-violence thing, by the way. Doing a real good job there, mate. Impressive. Pardon me. Sorry, guys. I'm sorry. This has turned out to be the best time I've had with a guy in a really long time. Me too. <laughs> me too. With a girl. Yeah. Your Miss Wright was Miss Marilyn. You gotta bring her to Hawaii, dude. I can't bring her on a corporate retreat. It's a no-brainer. Text her now. She said yes! Aloha, motherfucker, I told you! Yes! I've got this girl meeting me here, and she's amazing. <laughs> Missy, what are you doing here? That text from you was wonderful. I screwed up so huge. Remember that crazy blind date I had? Nothing you could ever do would disappoint me. I love you. This whole time I thought I was texting my dream girl. <laughs> I was texting that crazy girl. To the best weekend ever. Uh. <laughs> oh my god! Are you rich? I'm rich! things planned for this company retreat and i look forward to getting to know your better half i may have gone a little overboard in bragging about you you're obsessed with me we're either gonna end up married or i'm gonna end up dead in a ravine somewhere what i'm down for either please keep things cool <gasps> calm <gasps> and very collective you should go canoe out to an island and just chill like if there's one nearby or far Somebody this is a real shark tank. You and me, let's go. You need to go. Put that in my mouth now? Yeah, goes right in your mouth. You're welcome. <laughs> Missy is not who I thought she was. She's free. She's fun. I'm a little crazy too. Really? I'm not letting you jump. I take my last breaths of this atmosphere for two years. We were pioneers. We were the first biospherians. How can you prepare yourself for journey into the unknown? A biosphere is a closed system with plants and animals and the atmospheres all inside. We called it Biosphere 2 because Biosphere 1 is the Earth. 
we're going to go to Mars and the moon, we better know how to make a biosphere. Climate change is a threat. We were trying to counteract that threat. We put in a rainforest, a desert, and an ocean with a living coral reef. It was a global curiosity. Eight human beings separated from life. I don't know any innovative human organization that doesn't have cult-like aspects. We called ourselves synergists. John Allen was a very good leader. He was a mind musician. <laughs> Here is your brainwashing cult leader. <laughs> The eight Biospherians are now quarantined together. The negativity started. Fighting is taking away from us accomplishing our objectives. That set off alarms to me. I, I don't want to talk about it. Members took part in strange costume rituals. John Allen was having paranoid delusions. Things were falling apart. There was something to hide. And this really shocking thing happened. There's a sudden spike in CO2. We were suffocating and starving. It was not legal. Everything that could go wrong went wrong. Here is this capsule of life from Earth. It was science fiction without the fiction. This is an incredible moment. The future is here. Your mother requested the following. Take my ashes and inter them in the body of a whale. What the? I woke up. An absurd road trip to bury your mother's ashes in the body of a whale with your brother who hates you. Now <laughs> that is funny. Come in love on your Aunt Jackie's neck. Oh, no. What in the holy hell? Could you please refrain from using the Lord's name in vain? Oh my God. I'm not going to say it again. I am not. Gay. I'm not gay! I'm not gay! <laughs> You're not exactly screaming Mother of the Year Award. You think I hated Mom? Didn't you? Love like Kate. They're all versions of the same thing. I'm gonna fight for her, Mitch. I'm not going anywhere. Not this time. Jealous. 
We've not met, I'm Eddie. You are a substantial amount on your bar bill. Come over to the bar with me. We'll settle it up and use two and carry on with a lovely evening. What do we know? I'll come over after if I feel like it. What are you waiting for? Did I stutter before or what? There he is. Welcome out, bruv. We should be celebrating, shouldn't we? Come on. Won't you come and see what it's like? Living by the rules that you write. Eddie boy, we heard you was home. Your brother's in a serious bit of trouble. Oh, what's he done? Go off me. <laughs> what's happened? Are you in trouble? How you want it, man? You can choose. If you can't take the heat, don't light the fuse. Where's our money? Look, boy. You bowl up here, bold as brass, and tell us that's how things are gonna run. Who do you think you are? Some kind of villain or something? I mean, you ain't real men. All you've ever done is suck and feed. Please don't do this to me, bro. I'll tell you what. Let's leave it to God. The whole thing's so sad. Fear of us. The best. I'm gonna make a film. Tell the story of Vera. I think it's better just to let things lie. You knew Vera as well as anyone, didn't you? To me, she was a mystery. We questioned close to 150 people, and there was proof she had been maltreated at home. <laughs> Her father is a bastard. Let him rot. Even though you never made a confession and her body was never found, you were found guilty. Do you maintain your innocence? It's a human weakness to be obsessed with the truth. Isn't it weird to sentence someone for murder without a corpse? What if he's innocent? Are you serious? There is some strange stuff in this story. Why don't you explain this? Where did you get this? Can I come in? I've seen the marks on her body. She never talked about it. No. This feels wrong. Do you think it's a bad idea? You and I have a very different view of morality. I don't know what to think, Henry, because I know that you've lied. Lied? We've got the wrong bloke locked up. I did not kill Vera. We can't continue like this. Stop! I've never quite grasped why all you little people need to know everything. あんなに存在していたのにさ。ママ、私たち不老者として生きていくんだって飛び切りのバンドをすることにしたんだママもパパもボキもキミもルビーの人どうすか行きません
続いてのゲストは話題のバンドリトルゾンビーズよろしくお願いしますそうして僕らのバンドは一気に伝説化されたママもパパも僕も君もルビーの口のにあいあの子もいない未来お金勇気愛は知らない Here we are in this right, most remote place of this planet. Will globalization hit us? There's no doubt that will. The island has to develop, like any culture is changing. We're destroying our planet. This is our home, our only home, and it's this. Hace que empezaron a ocurrir acá. Muchas cosas fuertes también. Son cambios de conciencia que está llamando la isla también a su gente a sensibilizar. Who is she? Prisoner, shackled in the back of the tent. Clark, what was our mission? Kill anyone in the camp. Shoot her. About this. Is that what I think it is? They call her the prophet of death. This situation and what we did are connected. I always said I'd follow you into hell. Come on, we gotta go! I just never thought you'd actually take us there. <laughs> 